What's up, y'all? It's your boy eBay Fight Predictions in the building. And this is your Jalen Turner versus Matsu Gamrot breakdown. This is a late notice fight. We are blessed to get this kind of fight on short notice. And I, I love this fight. It's a phenomenal fight. It's a short notice fight more for Gamrot than Jalen Turner. Jalen Turner was getting for a fight against Dan Hooker. I think that was OV. That was even like a little low key, uh, short notice because it was like a six to five week camp. But, uh, but yeah, you could tell Gamera, if you follow him on Instagram, the dude's been hungry to get back in there since the Benil Darius loss. And Jalen Turner is a rising star. And for him to get an opportunity like this at a marquee name like Gamera, who has complete top five potential in him written all over in him and respected well respected uh by the mma hardcores uh and jalen turner is also well respected by the mma hardcores this is a phenomenal fight i can't tell you guys how much i love this fight and how dangerous it is for both guys and how much of a kryptonite each guy is to the other you know it's insane that the skill that gamrot possesses is has been a kryptonite for Jalen Turner. We've seen it in his career. And I'll talk about the the fight that really killed him where he got taken down a whole bunch. And then Jalen Turner having the striking uh that he has and we've seen Gamrock get dropped twice or not even three times actually in the UFC. Armin, uh Benil and um Gram Kudaledzi you could tell Jalen has that power and Gamrot's a little chinny, you know, in my humble opinion. I love Gamrot. You guys know I'm a big Gamrot mark. But, uh, but yeah, I love this fight and, uh, I, I just like how it unfolded. It's just a great fight. It's a great scrap and I can't wait for it. But in terms of the stats, man, Gamrot comes with a record of 21 12. He's fighting out of Poland, age 32, a height of 510 and reaches 70.5. Uh, Jalen Turner is coming with a record of 13 5. Is, uh, is fighting out of California, age 27, a height of 63 and a reach 75.5. Jalen Turner is it's insane how big this kid is. He is humongous, uh, for this division. Uh, and it's just like, what the fuck are they feeding this kid? You know what I'm saying? What are they feeding this kid? But, um, he, he's just a huge kid. And, uh, he's humongous for 155. He, him and Joel Alvarez always get the weight bully accusations in that fucking weight division. They're like, oh, he's a weight bully. He's a weight bully. Weight bully Jalen Turner. <laughs> you know, so they always hit him with that. But, I man, Jalen Turner has a lot of skill, though, to back up the size. You know, he's not just a big guy just to be big, but he does have skill. In terms of the UFC rankings, let's look at the rankings. Um, I'm pretty sure Gamrot is ranked number number seven and Turner is number 10. So 10 versus uh, seven. He's even getting a jump up because I think Dan Hooker was actually below him too, which was interesting. So he's getting a jump up actually in the rankings. So Jalen Turner, massive opportunity against a well-respected dude in uh, Matsu Gamrot. Um, but in terms of resumes, Turner... I mean, he does have a good resume, and I've I've been a big Turner fan. You guys know that I have picked him for his last four fights, and I've just said his kid's going to roll. And a lot of fights, some people picked the other side, and I was a little surprised by that. But the kid has some good wins. He's fought some really good guys. Uh, the Joshua Kulabal fight has aged well for him. Uh, beat Brock Weaver, uh, Uros Medic. That was a fight a lot of people picked against him, and he fucking completely dominated Uros Medic, made him look like a nobody. Yeah, uh, he beat uh, Jamie Malarkey. That was another fight. Some people actually were a little, sh you know, so-so. And he went out there and destroyed Jamie Malarkey. He fought Rydell. So this one was a fight where some people, either you were Team Rydell or you were Team Jalen Turner. And, dude, if you're Team Jalen Turner, you are like me. If you go, go check out my reaction video uh, to that fight. Very happy. Black Luke, Luke Rockhold. And the reason why I call him Black Luke Rockhold, if you watch Luke Rockhold fight in his prime, in his younger years, he was such an aggressive dude with his stand-up. He was so offensively minded with his stand-up and his grappling, right? He never was defensively sound in either category. When you really watch him, right? Uh, he was okay at defending takedowns. I'll give him that, but he got taken down sometimes. Um, and then, he was bad at taking shots and defending himself and keeping his hands up and moving his head, you know. Uh, and that's Jalen Turner reminds me of that. But what made Luke Rockhold such a beast in the beginning is that Luke Rockhold would throw the storm of striking, grappling, clinch work, and just striking and just this array of offensive, um, 
basically martial art uh variety attacks right that's the best way i could say at you and you would just be fucked up against machida he he hurt him no he didn't hurt him but he was he was whooping him on the feet and then machida tripped and then he got on top of him fucking pounced on him michael bisping he was clinching him up ca catches him with the head kick right after he disengages submits him right Jalen Turner reminds me so much of that, right? You watch Jalen Turner. He fucking hurts you on the feet, gets you on the ground, club and stuff, right? He's just so good. But the problem with Jalen Turner and even Rockhold, they suffer the same issue, is that they've had two issues. Sometimes their wrestling can get exposed defensively because they're good offensively. I think Jalen Turner's actually good. He could probably get some takedowns in the, um, in the UFC. I think he could. If he tried, he could get some takedowns. But, um... But defensively, he hasn't shown the best takedown defense. Now, the Matt Favola fight was a long time ago. It was in 2019. And I always wanted to see him fight Grant Dawson. Just to kind of like, let's see how well he's really improved in his wrestling. And now he's getting even a harder grappler than uh, than Grant Dawson and Gamrot. Who's, Gamrot has some of the best freestyle technical wrestling in the game the way he his his well his takedown entries are beautiful some of the best takedown entries i've seen in a very long time in mma he has some of the best ones i think maybe he kind of over spams it a little bit and we'll talk about that but uh he has some of the best uh takedown entries in the game and for him to get that jump up it, we're gonna figure out if Jalen Turner's grappling has really improved since uh, the Matt Favola fight. So that's one way that you see an issue between Jalen Turner and Luke Rockwood. Another thing is the defense, right? You saw it against Vicente Luca. He got knocked out. And we've seen in Luke Rockwood's career, he's been knocked out before. And Jalen Turner has that issue. That's why I feel like they're so alike. It's like the way they fight. like And they train together too. Like sometimes at Ruka, like... So, you know, it wasn't a bad comparison, but, you know, you guys are going to hate on me. You guys think I'm a weirdo so <laughs> with my comparisons, but, hey, it is what it is. Um, so, um, with that matchup, though, uh, in my humble opinion, um, his, defense in, his, his defense in both areas need work. But we're going to see in this Gamrot fight if he's really, really worked on his defensive deficiencies and really defend, uh, found some real, um, so, uh, some real mojo in his career where he's a problem, where you gotta be like, okay, this guy is a problem everywhere, you know? But that Bride Red L fight, hurt him on the feet, choked him out with the quickness. And he's dangerous. He's dangerous for Gamrot, real talk. And what Gamrot has accomplished, man, Gamrot has a good resume. He's been some really good guys. I'm 5 and 1 with the guy. I damn near picked it all. I'm Predicted all his fights, right? Even his loss uh, to Benil Darius. I picked that right, motherfucker. <laughs> I picked that right, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Respect me. <laughs> Man, I was in the trenches with Benny, uh, Benny Darius, bro. In the trenches. And you guys tried to bring me down. And I rose from the ashes like a king. But I still fuck with Gamma. You guys know that I love Gamma. But, um, but yeah, Gamma... He's he's had fights where right he he had the groom Kuledzi fight. I thought he won, but he did get dropped in that second round, or he got caught with that shot. But then he had the fight with Scott Holtzman where he just looked amazing. The, I love how it's it it's also an issue with Gamera, but I love how he creates distance and is always looking for that one two or always looking for that outside single right. And I love how he's so very like footwork heavy like he loves to be on the outside even though for his kind of style it's not the best but i like it it's 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 a it's it's beautiful to watch i like his footwork right i like how he he he's um circles around the octagon looking for outside shots uh when he should be really looking for inside shots you know um and yeah he looked amazing this is probably one of the fights where he was just like just catching scott holtzman and everyone that one too he landed on scott was beautiful it was beautiful then the jeremy stevens fight was a complete annihilation caught him with the kimura the diego Ferro fight was the fight where i feel like everyone ignored going into that benny Darius fight if you watched that and you really watched you would have known fucking benil was gonna win that fight against uh gamrock because diego fair was giving gamrock a lot of problems until he lucked out with the rib injury in my humble opinion and then the fight with armin sorokin the greatest fight fuego 
Fuego, I hope you're watching this, sir. The greatest fight. He taught Armin Sarukian respect. I know everyone's gonna call it a robbery, whatever. Go fuck yourself. Gamrot did his thing. He looked amazing. He choked championship grit uh, in the championship rounds, uh, especially in that fifth round where he outworked Armin Sarukian, fucking taught him how to wrestle in that round, and uh, just showed uh, clutch genes. And um, he looked amazing. And I feel like that fight... It kind of made everyone feel like, oh, Gamrot's the man. And everyone forgot about Benny. Benny. And Benny is a great fighter. And I think a lot of people just don't realize how good Benny is. And it doesn't mean Gamrot's any less. It means that Benny's just that good. Gamrot's a great fighter still. You know, and I think a lot of people need to still remember who this guy is. And as much as I love Jalen Turner, I love Gamrot a little more. And I just think stylistically... I just wish Jalen Turner would have had an opportunity against a, a good wrestler, but a lesser level of, of Gamrot. And Gamrot's not just a wrestler. This guy's a phenomenal grappler, right? This guy can get submissions, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't get, he doesn't have a lot in the UFC, but he, you can see he goes for it all the fucking time, right? So um, with that being said, as much as I love Jalen Turner, and I think there is a possibility where he could hurt uh, Gamrot bad in this fight he could um i think gamrot's wrestling is just too much of an x factor and the improvements of wrestling from jalen turner especially defensively from his favola fight to now is just too much of an unknown to go by and just assume he's gotten better i think you just have to go with the the high level experience that uh gamrot's had against high level fighters like armin sarukin benil dariush right so you have to go by that he has five round experience uh he's he's fought some of the toughest dudes he's been through hell we've seen him battle tested we haven't seen jalen turner really battle tested we haven't seen him go through adversity anytime he's gone through adversity he's lost right um matt frivola he actually hurt matt frivola a few times in that fight but matt outworked him uh against vicente luca he got hurt he got finished uh gamrot has been dropped and he's kept fighting so that's the difference here i think going into this matchup i just think gamrot is going to have a really good fight with jalen turner i think jalen turner is also going to give a good account for himself because i think he has gotten better since that matt frivola fight i just don't think he's gotten enough better to beat a guy like Gamrot and I, I'm taking Gamrot by third round submission I think Gamrot fucking breaks Jalen Turner uh in that third round and uh is able to survive some of the crazy shots going to that first and just uh, I was gonna say uh maliciously breaks Jalen Turner down with his grappling and eventually uh beats him but I can't wait for the fight the fight's gonna be phenomenal but hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown go follow me on my Instagram go follow me on my Twitter like comment and share the video let's get this eBay fight prediction nation going love y'all and goodbye we are picking Gamma by third round sub all right y'all